In Python, the reduce function allows us to take an iterable, such as a list, and condense it down to a single value. Let's have a look at what reduce does and how it works, then we'll look at the syntax and the optional argument we can add to it, and finally we'll have a look at how reduce works with lambda functions. So let's say we have a list over here, and we would like to find the sum of this list. One way we could go about doing this is to create a variable called total, set it to zero, then create a for loop and add each of the individual numbers in the numbers list to the total. And finally, print out the total. So if I execute this, you can see the value down here is 15 in the console output. And that is exactly the sum of the numbers in the list. So that's great, but there is another faster way to do this which uses the reduce function. So let me scroll down a little bit. Over here in this code snippet, you can see that I imported reduce from the functional tools module, and I have the same list of numbers as I had in the example above. Then I went on and defined a function called sum, where I'm taking the sum of two values. So over here, I have x and y as two inputs, and I'm returning the sum of both of them. And at the very end, I'm printing what the reduce gives me if I put in the sum function as an argument and the numbers list as an argument. So you can see here, usually when we use reduce, we have a function in first place in the first argument and a um, list set or tuple or any sort of iterable as the second uh, parameter. So if I go ahead and run this now, you will be able to see that the result is also going to be 15. You can see in the console output, I reran it. It's giving us the result 15 because um, it is taking the sum of this list. To perhaps see what exactly is happening over here, it helps to print out the um, values of x and y that are being input into the sum function. So let me rerun this again and we'll go through this step by step. So over here you can see that once I've run this again, it's giving me this output. Now what is happening over here? When I use the reduce function using the sum function and the numbers list, I start by adding the values one and two together. So these are also the first two in the numbers list. Once I've added them together, I get the result three, and I add the next three to the result. And you can see that is exactly what's happening at the bottom. So I'm adding three and three. Once I add the first three numbers together, I have six, and I'm adding the fourth one to it. So you can see it's six plus four. 6 plus 4 is 10, so that's the sum of all these numbers. And in the final step, I'm just adding the 5, so I'm getting 15. And the final print statement over here is returning the value 15. So that is exactly how the reduce function is working through the numbers to retrieve the sum. The next thing I want to show you is the syntax and the optional argument of the reduce function. So we have over here a tuple this time. Notice the rounded brackets. This is not a list, it's a tuple. And I have uh, the same function I had earlier, which is simply the sum of x and y. And it's returning uh, the, the addition of both. And over here, I am simply uh, printing out the result of this reduce. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see I get the result 10 because 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 10. All right, so now I want to show you that usually we do put a function in the first place, a iterable in the second place, but there is something else we can add to this function as an argument, which is an initial value. So notice what happens when I add 10 over here, then the total that I get at the end is going to be 20 because it simply adds the initial value to the um, sum of the uh, values from the list. So let me execute this again. You can see now it's 20 in the bottom. 
So the initial value, which is the third and last argument that you can add to this reduce function, simply tells us what value to start at. Okay, the final thing I want to cover is using the reduce function with lambda functions. So over here I have a numbers list, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. And as I mentioned earlier, the first argument in the reduce function uh, is a function itself. But that function doesn't necessarily need to be defined explicitly. It can also be an anonymous function, such as a lambda function. So over here, you can see that if I choose to simply retrieve the sum of all the values, I can create a lambda function with two inputs that simply sums up the values. So if I go ahead and um, execute this, you can see I get 32, which is the sum of all the numbers in this list. Similarly, if I choose to find the maximum value in a list, we want to retrieve the maximum over here, I can execute this second statement over here, which simply checks if um, a value x is greater than y, then it is um, leaving the x, otherwise it's putting the y. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see it outputs the total value, 12, uh, the, the maximum value, which is 12. Similarly, if we only want to retrieve the minimum value, we can turn around this greater than sign, make it a smaller than sign, and if I go ahead and execute this, I get the number 2, which is the minimum value. So what I want to show you here is that we can also use these lambda functions instead of explicitly defined functions. All right, so that's it for the reduce function in Python.